we have to address. Say hola. Hola. <laughs> okay, go play or, or go or go sit. We have to address the outrageous criminal arrogance of the blue ISIS as they as they set people up and try and lock them in prison. We've seen this a lot, but today we're going to go back to my to my home turf back in Grant County, Washington, because people send me things that are going on back there. And we have got the Moses Lake Police Department. Now Moses Lake, I lived in a freedom. Moses Lake was the town next door. And if you search for Gavin and the Moses Lake Police Department, you'll find various videos of me chastising them. The Moses Lake Police Department and the Moses Lake City are actually the the, the crooks that back in 2014 were stealing my campaign signs when I was running for U.S. Congress. And they've, I've, I've been involved in various instances with them. Now, this is another one of these for-profit Blue ISIS syndicate policing organizations, that run, but how they're getting away with it. Now, you see this. Here's a, here's a photo from a body camera of, of uh, this young lady here. And this young lady... Apparently, there was a video where she refused uh, to, to be molested by these cops, right? Or, or maybe it was just a post, okay? So this is the Moses Lake Police Department. Now, guys, this is not some loyalist troll. This is the official page. Let me read to you. What social media giveth, social media taketh away. Woman who trolled MLPD back in custody. You may recall that last week we shared a story about Kayla, a 19-year-old woman who was contacted as a passenger in a traffic stop. As our officers had no legal reason to detain her, she was released from the scene. A subsequent search warrant on the vehicle revealed a purse that contained her identification and a pistol, which Azari was not eligible to possess as she is a prolific felon. Well, there's an arbitrary and completely inappropriate term. Officers were not able to immediately relocate and arrest her. Izari got on Moses Lake Police's Facebook page saying, in their words, bragging about getting away. We believe this is the number one killer of criminal karma that there is. These people think they're gods. This morning, officers used covert investigative te techniques to wink. Guys, this is the official page. Covert investigative techniques to wink set up a meeting with Azari. Now, this is the definition of entrapment. Ironically, using social media. She showed up, and when she realized she had been set up, they just admitted on the page, guys, that she had been set up by the police. She made a run for it on foot. Good for her. That's her right. She was caught in about four steps and booked into the jail on charges of unlawful possession of a firearm, a crime on the police officer's part of treason because under the Constitution and human rights, there cannot be unlawful possession of a firearm and possessing heroin. Both charges were from the original incident. Get this. It gets worse. They hashtag it Facebook buzzkill karma stay there for a while socks and sandals. So let's get this straight you guys. Let's get this straight. We have the police department, the city officials arresting someone, a young lady who is supposed to be presumed innocent, illegally setting her up, admitting that they set her up in the page and then proceeding to take the person who's supposed to be assumed innocent to the community to shame and mock her because she tried to preserve her rights. Can you believe this crap from these people? Now, guys, it's time for there to be accountability for these blue eye six thumbs. And I'm a peaceful person. I always say we should be more honorable than them. But let's go to their page, actually, here. If you go to their page, this is the Moses Lake Police Department. Now, this is the police department. These are the thugs that I've dealt with many times and you can see it gets worse because if you go down this page, Grant County, you have to understand that Grant County is a grifter county. Grant County is a county where the people in majority exist by theft. Why is that? Because the majority, and I mean this percentage wise, last time I looked into it, the actual majority of the people in Grant County are government employees, okay? This is a big government county. And because of that, you've got the PUD and you've got all these agencies. So the primary employee employer in Grant County is the government. Now let's spin that around as you have that in perspective and I show you what people. 
are saying, okay? What the people proceed to do after this blatant violation of civil rights and then actually flaunting it on the Facebook page of their abuse of the rights of this young lady under entrapment laws, under 18 U.S.C. 241. These officers, as they say in an arbitrary term that she's a prolific felon, which by the way means nothing in the way it's used in courts today, these officers are actually committing real felonies under federal law, 18 U.S.C. 241, 242, and other crimes, of course, under the Constitution, okay? Real smart teeny bopper, wonder what guy she was covering for. These people go on, socks and sandals, hashtag laughing, classic, stupid is as stupid does, good job. Now, you, you've got to see this, the community in Grant County. Now, you, you guys want to wonder why I finally, when they were trying to set me up, when they were trying to force me to give evidence on behalf, you, you start to wonder why I left this county. The whole USA is lawless, but there, there, there's exceptions like this county, okay, there are exceptions where the people are so maliciously ignorant, brainwashed, loyalist redcoats. Great job. I wish you would get on live PD. That would be a hoot. hoot. These people think that the suffering of teenage girls is entertainment as they mock her, caught in four steps, laugh. It just goes on and on. And then you come to my comment. You come to my comment where I talk about how these people are criminals. Now, fortunately, there has been a few people that understood that my comment had relevance, but most of the people on my comment are mocking me as well, which I fully expected, and I don't intend to, to uh, give these trolls gratification, right? Lisa Davis says, the fact that you want convicted felons to be able to legal, legally possess arms shows what an idiot you are. These people, it's like they've never read the Constitution. The term felon in the U.S. justice system is an arbitrary term that has no meaning. There was no crime committed here. There was no victim. There was no felony. And chances are this girl has never even committed one. Now, even if there is a felony, that does not give. This arbitrary idea that you've done something so now government gets to take your rights forever is a fraud. And anyone who supports it is a fascist. Do you know that in Mexico, guys, there's not a definition of felony? Crimes have designated punishments. Crimes have de designated punishments. But there's not this line you cross where now they can just revoke all your rights. Okay? So as we go down to the post I made, we see people continuing to mock. Gavin Syme, you're in Mexico. Stay there. The average IQ of the U.S. just went up by 50 points. Okay? Now, guys... These are the people in my county. These are the people that I grew up with. These are the people who decided to sell out, to turn their back on loving their neighbor, on law, on patriotism, on righteousness. To prostitute themselves, to lick the government's boots and get a government job and be good old boys in the system. Because that's the highest level of achievement in Grant County is to get into the system, to become a PUD commissioner, to be a part of this. And this is a pattern. It's not just Grant County, though Grant County is a serious offender. This is a pattern all over the USA. Get in the system, be a good old boy, lick the boots, and you'll be left alone until you're not. And that's what these people don't realize. They don't realize that their kids could be next at the hands of blue ISIS. They don't realize that the USA is going down. They don't realize there's no law and that when it's their turn, they get dragged into the gas chamber. So guys, what I want you to do, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable that this community goes to this psychotic Blue ISIS police force called the Moses Lake Police Department who are not law enforcement, they are criminals. Every single one of them takes part in these crimes. Now I've gone and left a little review, but you can see most of these people are sycophants, are sycophants for the county. Kyle, 
Canfield is actually the officer that I pulled over years ago for driving an illegal car. And so you'll see a pattern here. You'll see a pattern of good old boys. There's no excuse for the Moses Lake Police Department, for these insane criminals who terrorize the community to have 4.6 out of five stars. And guys, I'm, I'm laying it on you to go look at their posts. They're mocking of people whose rights have been violated. They're mocking of people who have not been convicted of crimes. I'm laying it on you to go tell the Moses Lake Police Department and Grant County and the people of Grant County to not let them get away with it, to not let them get away with mocking teenage girls after police illegally set them up. These predators called the Moses Lake Police Department roaming the streets in Grant County along with the Soap Lake Police Department and the Afraida Police Department and the Grant County Sheriff and the Washington State Patrol. These predators roaming the streets attacking women and children and families and being backed by the psychotic judges, prosecutors, and criminals that run the Grant County Courthouse like Mark Fedorak, like Garth Danum, like the judges who commit crime after crime after crime, but all that happens is their victims go to jail. I want you guys to go find. Let's, let's see, the Moses Lake Police Department is telling you, what are they telling you? Let's go back to that uh, post. Facebook buzzkill, what social media giveth, social media taketh away. Officers using covert investigative techniques set up a meeting. Ironically enough, using social media, says Moses Lake Police Department. Azari showed up, and when she realized she had been set up, guys, you have police actually admitting they're setting up teenage girls to go to jail instead of trying to help them. And the community, the freedom-hating patriots of Grant County are getting on there and praising these officers. That shouldn't be tolerated in a society of free thinkers. That should be shamed. That should be spoken against. That should be resisted. And no one should have to walk into a gas chamber. Guys, I'm going to put links. You can Google the Moses Lake Police Department on Facebook. Let me, uh, let me actually find their telephone number for you guys. Uh, if you don't want to do the social media aspect, you can give them a call. Moses Lake Police. And let me make sure I got the right one. Here we go right here. You can find them on Google. There is the Moses Lake Police Department right here. There's their symbol, so you recognize it on Facebook. And here is their phone number, 764-3887, all right? So if, if we had a remotely constitutional sheriff, these officers would already be removed from their jobs. They would be arrested for violating this person's rights, and the sheriff would have refused to hold this young lady in jail. So my sympathies go out to her. I don't know what problems this young lady is dealing with or if it's all just made up, but you know what, it doesn't matter. Because our police, the idea of government service is that they're there to serve and protect our families and our children, not to mock them, not to mock them and lock them in for-profit prisons and abuse them and violate their rights. And that is what the Moses Lake Police Department is doing. So who's with me? Who's going to take the time to pick up the phone or go to Facebook? Again, that's 509-764-3887 is the public phone number. It's perfectly legal to call these guys. And you know what? It's time to shame Blue Isis. It's time to shame the people that support them. It's time to call them out, to love our neighbor, to not treat them like they've treated us. But to love them enough to tell them, you guys are sick in the head. You hate your neighbor. You don't love Jesus. You don't love freedom. You don't love justice. You're looking for a sideshow of anyone suffering but you while these cops, these predators, blue ISIS thugs roam the streets. All right, you guys, I'm going to go for now. Sport your blue ISIS shirts, bit.ly forward slash blue ISIS. Grab those photos right in front of the cop cars and uh, bit.ly slash blue ISIS and blue ISIS two and uh, keep speaking out, keep loving your neighbor.
And uh, we'll deal with the trolls in here. Don't worry. Don't worry. They have no voice in the words of truth. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep pressing forward. Appreciate your support. Huge shout out to all our Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash Gavin Syme. The Patreon is growing over there little by little. And uh, that really helps helps us find more time to produce better videos and, and more content. As soon as this is over, I'm going to go post direct links to the Moses Lake Police Department. Excuse me. Mo yeah, the Moses Lake Police Department's uh, page. And uh, you can also call the Grant County Sheriff. Again, this is in Washington State. This is my area. And you can see videos of me interacting with these officers, some of them that are probably mentioned in this post on YouTube because I've taken them on for years. That's why I had to leave because that would have been me that the community was mocking after they set me up and uh, tried to make up charges, which is what they were doing. But I refused to walk into a gas chamber and I said, no, courage is not bowing before a bully. All right, guys, thank you. Yes, I did get a new haircut today. I got a Mexican haircut. I went to the to the Estacia. I can't, I forget how they pronounce the, the barber down here or the, the places, but there's lots of them. And, and the young lady did a nice job on it. It's, it looks good. I like it. I like it. It's different. I've never had a haircut where it was like really short on the side like this, but uh, mucho gracias, buenas tardes. Y uh, speak the truth. Love or not. Peace.